Coach, did you want to start yeah, with the recap? Um, just want to say, uh, uh, first of all, just congratulate uh, Arizona and Coach Fish and their 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 team. Uh, they've had a fantastic season. And, uh, you know, they played their guts out today, and uh, certainly uh, deserve to win. Um, I'm really proud of our football team, and I'm so thankful for all of you guys up here. Um, just uh, again, the guts, the fight, the belief, um, the commitment, um, your body of work, um, the young men that you are, just amazing people, uh, fantastic football players, but amazing people. Uh, got everything uh, that we could uh, out of this group of guys, and, and you guys have, have led the way. And uh, we squeezed all the juice out of it we could squeeze. And uh, just, so I I'm, I'm just want to say uh, how thankful I am uh, for all of our players and these guys as leaders of the team. And I'm disappointed for them that uh, we couldn't do a few things a little better to have a chance to win. And we certainly had a, it was a heck of a game and uh, came out on the wrong end of it. Uh, but it doesn't take away, uh, again, how uh, amazing these guys are. Uh, the type of team that I believe that, um, you know, in the season that we had, sure, there's some disappointment, but there's a lot more uh, to be thankful for than not. So, uh, you know, Drake is, you know, the the one senior that's up here, man, this is a guy that he's made every person in the Oklahoma program better. And uh, just, man, you've enriched all of our lives, man. You've... Uh, just we're thankful, man, you what the amazing example that you've been. You've been an amazing player. But how you do what you do, man, it's <laughs> uh, you're that dude. So, man, I just want to say thank you, man. I love you and, and all you guys, man. You know, the guys playing, you know, banged up. And uh, Jackson had, a, a, you know, many things tonight that was just fantastic. He's <laughs> he going to have an amazing future. And uh, we got to be a little better around him to help him. And um, uh, I don't want to speak the obvious, but uh, and obviously, you know, you're not going to win uh, when you lose a turnover margin six to one. That's the name of the game. But that's, uh, but again, doesn't take away again the type of again season and the type of uh, men that we have and what our future looks like. Thank you. Raise hands. Mike Holes for come. Go to second row. Please direct your question specifically to player or coach. Uh, this is for Danny. Uh, Danny, after the game, you, you talked to, to Jackson a little bit and basically said something to the fact of, you know, you're all in with him going to the SEC as the quarterback. Kind of take us through your thought process on why you decided to, to tell that to him after the game. I mean, it's obvious, you know, Jackson's a baller. You know, we have full faith in him. You know, first career start, I mean, he, he played his heart out. I mean, he, every time he enters that field, you know, I have so much confidence in that offense, everything that they do. You know, I love him to death. You know, he's a tremendous player. I know now there's going to be some adversity, but he needs to hang his head up high, you know, higher than ever. Because, you know, Oklahoma has his back. That entire locker room is, you know, with Jackson, and this changes nothing. Front. Uh, sort of a similar question for you, Brent. Uh, I noticed late in the game you, you were talking to Jackson, I think, when Arizona went up there. Just what were your words to him in that moment and also just throughout the game, especially early when he had that shaky start? We got your back. Um, don't throw late. <laughs> Cross the middle. Uh, and uh, can't go broke taking a profit. And you don't have to try to win the game, you know, all in one play. But not that he did. Uh, just your normal coach speak stuff, you know. Uh, but, you know, he was, he was, he had some uh, phenomenal moments uh, tonight and gave us a chance going into the fourth quarter, having a chance to win. And to me, if we play a little better on defense, you know, when the game's tied up in second and 17, and uh, we can't give up a conversion there and expect to win in a game that's you know, through all the adversity that's happened, you know, and, and the game's tied in the second 17, we got to be better. I got to be better. I got to put them in a better position. And, uh, you know, we can't give them, you know, I think two plays later they score a touchdown and uh, to go up. So, uh, we got to be, you know, everybody around him got to be better uh, to help him be successful. But I think it, you know, it shows you you don't have to play perfect. Matter of fact, you can play far from perfect and still have a chance to to beat a, you know, a top 15 team. You know, and um, but at the same time, the game will punish you, you know, for you know, 
uh, you know, turning the ball over. Middle front, please. Ryan Aber from the Oklahoma Jackson. I, I know it's you know really soon after the game, but what do you feel like you learned tonight, especially from the the way that the game started and the way you were able to uh, settle in after that until the end? Um, I'd say just to battle through adversity. You know, um, our team chaplain this morning. That was a the main focus was uh, battling through adversity because it's going to strike at some point, and it did tonight. And um, you know, obviously there's things I want back tonight, but just learn to keep my head up and just keep on playing through it no matter what. It's something I take away from the night. Front, please. I've actually got two. Jackson, um, if you could just talk a little bit about how the night went with Seth, because obviously you're new, but so is he, just how that communication went with you all. And then Brent, I'm wondering, um, Jackson threw, well, dropped back 50 times, threw 45 passes. You guys hadn't attempted that many passes. Was this just a night to see like what you got in this guy and the offense moving forward? Um, I loved what uh, Coach Luttrell and Coach Finley did tonight. Um, I've got the utmost confidence in them that they're going to call a great game. Um, and I, I believe they did. Um, those mistakes were on me. I'm going to take the full blame for that. Um, I've just got to be better. I thought they put me in great positions to win tonight. And just ex lack of execution was the problems that we had tonight. I thought we had good balance, you know, uh, running and throwing and had a lot of opportunity throwing the ball through it well, a lot. And um, so I think some of that was there. And then some of it's RPO world, you know, and that's just decision by the quarterback, you know, whether he pulls it out of the belly or, or not. And uh, But you know, I thought we had really good balance, you know, uh, hard to stay in rhythm when, again, when you have some of the things that were happening, maybe whether it's penalties or, again, uh, turning the ball over, but we continue and continue to fight together, and uh, uh, defense responded sev several times, and offense would come right back, and that's that's what I love. It's just uh, even in moments of adversity and things, you know, gone dreadfully wrong, or you know, we continue to respond in both sides of the ball, uh, but especially uh, you know on offense and with Jackson uh, as the leader, uh, just what he said the. Uh, chapel service today was was about handling the verdict. When you got the right stuff, it's just second nature, and and he does. Shouldn't be a surprise to to anybody, but uh, it's certainly not for us. Back middle, please. James Hale, CBS Sports Radio in Oklahoma City. Brent, you ran a little bit of a, a different look today in defense tonight. Could you talk about that and how it went? And Drake, if you could talk about the fight that you guys had. You, you know, it's one of your biggest attributes is you just always fight until the last whistle. You have a new quarterback things, but you guys always look like you were fighting. And, and so, Brent, if you could tack to that, then Drake. Again, we just thought that the style of their offense, um, really good at skill. Um, they're, they're either going to seven man, eight man protect and not let your four man rush get there if you're rushing four. Uh, or their big screen game and then shot game down the field. So just thought that uh, having a little more speed on the field would be important. Uh, this is a really athletic offense and really, again, good skill. And, and again, we, you know, we give you a little more uh, variety and coverage and things of that nature. And so some of it was really good, some of it not so good. Um, you know, played a, I think there was some disruptiveness that, that took place. Um, I think they, we had five sacks and 11 tackles for loss. And again, uh, we got to get off the field a couple of other drives. But you know, I thought there was some good stuff that came out of it. Uh, yeah, just to speak on like the fight of, you said the offense, or just the whole team in general. I'd say, I mean, and then we're just, I mean, we're a reflection of our head coach. And that starts in the off season and off season training. And you know who you got. and. Like he said, I mean, we just got guys that have the right stuff, and those are intangibles that can't be taught. You know, that's in you or it's not. And we got guys with that. And if there's time left on the clock, I mean, we're fighting, we're clawing, we're trying to win. And if there's time on the clock, you got a chance. And I think um, when you get a group of guys like that, you're going to win a lot of games. And, and the ones you don't, they're going to be close. And I mean, we came up short tonight. We didn't make enough plays to win. But, you know, we're never going to stop fighting. Front middle, and then second round.
Dean Blevins, News 9, to the defensive players. Guys, it seemed like it was either feast or famine. You know, they got off to such a good start, but then for much of the game, he just throttled them. I mean, it was like 520 yards to two something for so long. And then they were able to spurt. What was, um, what was the reason for such good play and then them having so much success at other times? I mean, I think that's just how the game of football goes. You know, at times, you know, we have momentum, you know, we're able to, you know, execute and, you know, they're going to make plays. You know, they have great players on, you know, for the University of Arizona. You know, so they were able to get us on some play calls. You know, it's a game of chess. You know, we had them there. They had us, you know, sometimes. But, you know, I love the fight that the defense showed. You know, every single time, you know, they made a play. We were we were hustling, you know, kept fighting, kept clawing like what Drake was implying. And I just, I love the fight this whole entire team has. Billy, do you want to follow up? I feel like we did a great job preparing for Arizona. I feel like our coaches put us in uh, the right stuff. I just feel like tonight, Oklahoma be Oklahoma. And if you do that, you, you can't expect to win. So uh, I feel like we did a good job uh, putting them behind the chains. We just got to find a way to get off the field. Second row, please. Brent, you've been around the program long enough to know the, the, the build up especially for the quarterback position, in the tendency to parse everything that he does every game. And when you get a guy as, as anticipated as Jackson, there's going to be a tendency to go one way or the other tonight based on this one performance. Your, your reaction to the possibility of that occurring based off just one, one game sample size. Of what, what's going to just... The fact that there's just so much anticipation for a quarterback at Oklahoma, just yeah. period. But then when you get someone like Jackson, who's so in, such a highly regarded kid, Everyone's been waiting for this night. The reaction is going to be extreme one way or the other. Your, your, your response to it's that? It's always going to be extreme one way or the other. And I just, I mean, for me, you know, I'm, I always, you know, I preach to these guys all the time, man, being inside out. You know, whether they're, they're really, uh, you know, uh, supporting you or, you know, uh, they're throwing stones at you. You know, you, you get into this arena, that's what you sign up for. But at the same time, uh, man, we get, when, that's not how we're gonna, you know, get, uh, you know, our joy. That's not what's gonna define us, uh, you know, good or bad. And, you know, for us to be, you know, just committed to what it takes to be um, successful, do your part, one of eleven. Uh, you know, like every single, you know, Jackson and a quarterback at Oklahoma is no different than any other player. You know, you're gonna have some uh, great moments. You know, you're. You, you know, you're off your scholarship at Oklahoma, you must be pretty dang good, you know. And when you're the quarterback at the University of Oklahoma, something that you do sign up for, you're the face, you know, in many ways of the program. And uh, but uh, I know we got the right guy uh, and we got the right group there and uh, broad shoulders, level headed, incredibly humble, uh, tough on himself, uh, demanding of himself. Uh, I don't ever worry about him having success and going to his head, and I certainly don't worry about oh, you know, if he's you know, uh, you know, fragile or a head case. You know, this is a strong dude um, that's very process driven. He's very committed. He's relentless with his work ethic, and he'll bring out the best in everybody. He's a great, great leader and uh, incredibly skilled. And um, so, you know. Many, many way we had a chance to, you know, going into the fourth quarter, win the game, you know, in his debut against a, you know, a top 15 team. And if we're, uh, yeah, you got to, you know, uh, hold on to the ball or, you know, uh, you know, get off the field on second and 17. And it's a team game, and uh, everything matters. So, uh, you know, we had a chance going into, you know, the last half of the fo uh, fourth quarter to a chance to win the game. So and that's a lot of credit to all the great things that Jackson and the team did as well. Final question up front. Yeah, for Gavin, how physical was the game? And did that have anything to do with the three fumbles? You guys, interceptions happen in modern football, but fumbles are generally, you know, the result of phys physicality. Yeah, no, um, Oklahoma was, or uh, Arizona was a great team. And, you know, they played hard. They played physical, and it's something that we knew watching film, uh, that they'd be physical, but we got to take care of the ball. And um, you know, that starts with, you know, drills at practice, uh, making an emphasis to take care of the ball. And, you know, like Coach Venable says, you know, you can't win, you know, with the game with 6-1 to one turnover uh, battle. So just got to be able to take care of that ball, and that's, that's the key to the game. So we just got to be better in that aspect. Thank you very much.